Hi, my name is Steinhans Nesbach and I'm a marketing engineer here at Nixperia. And today we're going to talk about interactive data sheets. So before we dive in, let's have a look at the regular data sheets where all the parameters are essentially static. Uh, this means that you have symbols, you have conditions, and you have your typical max values. Now, if you want to then change your RDS on value, let's say down to eight volts or six volts, that means you would have to go all the way down, and this is across all regular data sheets. You then go all the way down, go to the figure, and get the value of uh, that they have eight volts or six volts or whatever your condition is. However, if you wanted to have it at a different, slightly different condition, then you're either at the mercy of the tables, or if the figures don't have it, then you're basically out of luck. And then you need to resort to going to uh, precision electrothermal models. Now, here we have 2505 and 125 and 175 degree conditions. However, if you want to land in between here, again, you can't really, you're not really in luck anymore. So that's why we've introduced interactive data sheets. Now, interactive data sheets allow you to dynamically specify your own conditions just by dragging some sliders. So if you move the slider up and down, you see the value here for this audio song. You move the slider, you see the value updating, and you can change your ID, your TJ, whatever parameters. And also, the many parameters, they're interlinked. Uh, making things a bit more dynamic and easy to understand. And we have lots of parameters, we have breakdown, threshold voltage, leakage, RDS on. We have all the cues, so the switching. And again, you can change the different uh, uh, conditions here, and you can see the different values changing. And this this really, we want to try to make things easier for the everyday engineer to kind of get their value they need at their specified condition faster. Now, another area we've also improved is how we do uh, figures. So, again, if we look in a regular data sheet and you try to read the Z theta figure, you have a log log graph, and that's not always as easy to read off. So, what we've done is again, we've made it interactive. So, you can hover over and you can see the values at the different uh, points of interest. And you can also remove certain areas and you can add them back again. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but we also have a beautiful animation to kind of really put the cherry on the cake and kind of make it easier. Um, so yeah, so again, trying to make everything interactive and easy to use. In terms of where you can find these interactive data sheets, they come together with just about any device. So currently we have just about 200 interactive data sheets released for our MOSFET portfolio. And if you're on a product information page, which is this one, you'll have a download data sheet button and an interactive data sheet button. And you also have an interactive data sheet tab explaining and giving a bit more details about what, what we do and uh, how it actually works. And now we are continuously improving our interactive data sheets and making them more interactive and adding more features. Please feel free to reach out and let us know if you'd like a feature added or if there's something you'd like fixed or improved. Again, please let us know. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.